to show you guys one of my favorite parts about having a store like this. Alvi, yeah. Yeah, Alvi. Oh, nice. Alvi's awesome. It depends. Like you get to do this. I want to keep this. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Look at that. Oh, that's ours now. Where it came from? Oh, it just appeared. I just looked, so this is, just appeared in the tank. Look at the mushrooms on this thing. Crazy. These ones are starting to bounce. But the only problem, look at the Aptasia. Completely infested with Aptasia. Those little hairy things, this is very nice too. Also very nice, but the Aptasia, I'm seeing like hundreds. Check this out, all throughout here. See these? Do you know those are little glass anemones that are uh, very undesirable for your tank. It's a shame though, because the mushrooms on it, does he, did uh, Dylan, did he say how much he wants for it? Trade him? He said, please wait. It's kind of hard sometimes to put a price on it. I would say, hmm, I don't know actually. I'm gonna have to ask the customer for this one. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I am an irresponsible reefer. So I had a vision of having this beautiful green Monty. Well, it was beautiful, now it's half dead. But I really wanted a green Monty and I decided on this place. I put it in my head that I was gonna have a green Monty here. In all my wisdom, miraculous wisdom, I also decided I wanted a hammer garden right next to it. Obviously, these two corals don't play nice together and the thing was getting beat from all sides and it said, you know what, I had enough. So it starts to peel, very bad sign. This is slow tissue necrosis, STN we call this. So it's dying slowly and that's just from getting beat up over and over again from these pieces. So I'm gonna have to rethink that position. Actually, you know what, I'm just gonna take it out right now, frag it, save a little piece of it, and try and be, oh, look at that. Accidental frags, nice. Not every day we get a piece in like this, which means it's not every day we sell a piece like this. This is going to, how big of a tank is it going in? 240 US gallons. And if you can't tell from the video, because maybe it's hard to see on your little iPhone there. I'm gonna just give you a see, reference. Look at Matt's hand. Matt doesn't have small hands. He does not have Donald Trump hands. Look at the size of that thing. That's three feet across. It's big. It's probably close to a foot across. Beautiful acanthophilia. And is that, is getting, I don't know, is that a deal? 500 bucks? It's kind of a deal. We need room. We're desperate for room. We have corals coming next week and Lord knows where we're gonna put them because they're still, usually we'd like to have this empty before we bring in a new shipment. So at least this is helping. One, one piece of the puzzle gone. And because it's so big, it's actually not even gonna fit in our, in our bag. So we're gonna give them free bucket with purchase today. When you spend 4.95, isn't that a deal? We don't even charge for the buckets. When you buy a large piece, look at that. She's a beauty. Bye bye. Going to a good home. Au revoir. You, no skimmer included. If you guys came in last weekend, you do know we were giving away one of these Fluval Evo 13.5 gallons. It's going home today. All you had to do was come in the store and leave your phone number. So, who was it? Sorry, girlfriend's name was Jeanette. Yeah, congrats, congrats on winning Fluval Evo. This little uh, feather duster here is getting a free ride today via Urchin Air. It's a new airline, very limited tickets available. That's an enemy if I've ever seen one. Oh, dear Lord. Look at him. He doesn't give a flying fart. Oh, Coral of the week. You'd like to do the honors? Coral of the week. Coral of the week. We don't have a lot of coral. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Actually, we have no coral. <laughs> why, why, why are we doing coral of the week? So, in our vlog post, we'd like to do, oh, you found something? <laughs> oh, she found one. Okay. This is a recent obsession, actually. Let's see. What the microgonies, the Bernardoporas. Where? What's a Bernardopora? It's a silly name for like a very tiny goni. Oh, there's a bubble in the way. This is the coral of the week. Tia has picked it. Bern it's called a Bernard coral. 
<laughs> Micro Ghani, encrusting Ghanis. They grow really well. well actually, we haven't had these in a long time. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have like, Jay bought me one yesterday, and I have three more from Jay. this batch. Oh, nice. Yeah. There's an orange one. The big one. And here's a red one. If I had to pick coral of the week, uh, uh, I'm going with this. Marble Rodactus, they're pretty cool. That's a weird one, yeah. They are different, yeah. yeah. Half blue, half orange. This one's like more on the blue side. Typically we get Rodactus in like this one over here. So you got the I'm blue. Bored of, those bored of them? Yeah. Hey. That specific one. All of God's creatures are beautiful. It is kind of common. They're beautiful, but they are common. We yeah. get them all the time. We don't get them like this. This is pretty cool. Oh, oh that would have been a good one, yeah. Um, Micro Torch. Cristata. Cristata. Yeah. Cristata. These we don't get a lot. Yeah, those are pretty we have no corals, Tia. What are you talking? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this, guys. We haven't had. This is the lowest volume of coral ever in the store since opening. Five years? Yeah, just signed the lease. Five years. Cinco años. In here, virtually nothing. And here, not virtually nothing. Negative coral. There's nothing in here. We're, we're literally cleaning it today. But that's all the bad news. If I can give you some good news. Tomorrow. Manana, this is not gonna look like this. You're gonna get one of those fun, crazy March stays up late videos. And this is gonna be packed, and this is gonna be mostly packed, half packed. But it's gonna be a lot of new stuff coming. It's been really tricky with mostly COVID. Just COVID's really making it difficult to get airfare, get corals over here. It is making business quite difficult. Sorry, fishies, look how stressed they are, huh? On the what? Stomatella. Stomatella. Tia wants to show you a stomatella. I forgot what they were called, but I really like them. He's going in my tank at home. She's keeping it. Stomatella. They're like little slugs. We have, we find them throughout the tanks um, a lot. Project of the week. Do we have a project of the week? Do chitin first. Okay. For project of chitin. Chitin are also excellent. I feel like my ADD is rubbing off on you. Chitin. Um, we have a huge one in here. Since we don't have any corals to talk about, we're talking about stomatellas and chitons. There's a massive one that hides that somewhere in this, in tank. this tank. But we can show you algae eaters. Excellent algae eaters. And they suck on the glass like crazy when they're yeah. big. You can never get them off. Not when they're big. I've been trying to get that one off to take home for a long time. He's not coming <laughs> with you. They're pretty cool. Little Good hitchhiker. Something, Excellent something hitchhiker. you want in your... Well, I know what Project of the Week is. Project of the Week. We're going to change the lights on this. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're swapping out the radions finally. Let's do that today. Yeah, that's today's uh, project of the day. Forget project of the week. Actually, that'll probably be an entire other video. So we're taking off the radion XR15 G5 blues. That's blues, right? Uh, pro. That's no pro blue. Blue, blue yeah, the blues, blues. Yeah, that's a mouthful. <laughs> um, they're great. We know they're great. Love you guys, radion. Awesome, 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 awesome. You see this? The whole store is running radions. We want to mix it up. Try something new. We're going to show Neptune some love. And Tia is going to do the honors. One light or two? Two. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we're going with this. Neptune Sky LED light. New player on the market when it comes to LEDs. I have very little experience. I'm running one downstairs, but we yeah. want to see what it can do here. Yeah, it's not... This is 36. 36, yeah. Can we, and I think we can get away with the same mounting because it uses the Ecotech stuff yeah. to mount. Yeah, so that would be That's nice. That's not a big change. That's not a big project. No. That, little project. <laughs> that nem. This freaking anemone. Look at this thing. It. No, we can't. He's stuck in the rock. But he, he messed up my clove polyp idea. He's just, it's actually one. And it's wrapping around. But I like him there. It's actually looking nice. Except this. What's this called? Diatom. diatom. We're having some diatom. You see, guys? Reefing fam, we're not perfect. I know it looks like it. We're about as close as it's gonna get. We're not. Look at this. Actually, it's a little. Slimy. It's a little. It's a little red. It might be cyano. It's not. It's not red. It's brown. Ready brown? No, it's brown. <laughs> brown brown. Brown brown. Okay. Brown, brown. Maybe the beginning. Like I'm colorblind, but very normal. New tank. Algae issues. That's just part of the game. You gotta. You gotta go through it. We added a nice suspension layer. I don't want to talk about this tank. This is getting get its own nice yeah, little update. Yeah. Our advice of the week is start with a good quality salt and don't change the salt. No. I'm going to say don't. That's my advice for the week. Don't change salt. I've actually never had a bad experience changing salt. I've only seen bad experiences. Don't, this, so don't start with this one. Tia Maybe doesn't like this. I this. like this. She likes the blue bucket because it's lower in alk. And aquifers. But I'm going to disagree because I think for most people, mixed reef. Why is this here? 
I think for most people, you're running a mixed reef, it's fine. If your alk is 10 to 12, it's only when you get into the SPS. But I think this is for a high consumption tank, so you actually have to dose less if you're doing consistent water tank. So Tia says go with the blue bucket of the Red Sea, or I think we can all agree this is a good salt. I would start with aquaforce. Yeah, aquaforce. You know what? Great. Comes in a small size too if you're starting a nano tank. It's only 15, 16 bucks. It's going to make you 20 odd something gallons. It's ICP tested. Very, very good salt. You can see we do stock a lot of it. And I'm going to stick by my thing. Once you start with the salt, I'm going to say don't change salts. That's good. Only bad can happen. Yeah. Oh, speaking about salt, if you bought Tropic Marin, they are actually doing a recall. This here, is it made in. Turkey? Yeah, so these are not for sale because yeah. they're Turkey. Teşekkür ederim. Turkey, sorry. These are going back. They are, it's a bad batch and they actually have done a recall. It's not the first time I've seen it happen. It's probably not going to be the last time. And so it's probably going to be way better now. Yeah, it could be. Like it's bit, batch for 190 bucks, 200 bucks, you shouldn't have a, you shouldn't have a freaking a recall. <laughs> it's not good. Matt was having problems at home with his nano reef. I know. Yeah, and we think that might have been from the salt. What's going on here with these ghanis? So I remember I said I. What the shit? What's going on here? I remember I yanked this whole rock out yesterday just to collect some stuff, and some stuff fell off. I gotta go back in and. Rock. Yeah. This is gonna be set up soon. Very cool. New little yeah. tank offering from us. Coming. Prototyping. Going to make it perfect. Designed by reefers for reefers. We are thinking through every single little thing you could think through. We're not gonna rush it. Um, it's gonna be a little perf perfect, perfect nano reef. Comes out to 12 gallons using a very nice LED light. I'm gonna talk about it more as we get closer to the production phase. Still very early prototype phase, but we're getting there, progress coming, so stick around for these really cool, shallow little tanks. Actually, all I can think about is these yeah. <laughs> stupid little nano reefs. Oh, and disregard the really dirty glass, I'm going to be setting up one of those, uh, the ones I, I can't stop talking about, at my house. So you guys can come home with me and I'm going to start a new little series about setting one up. Uh, I haven't decided. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Oh yeah, the mugs. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're the best. You know who you are. You sent us these. Check this out. All right, cheers. Eee. Where's the letter? One has a drawer here. Hold on, I got it here. Where is it? Drawer of stuff. First off, let me say, you don't have to send us anything. We love doing this. You don't have to send us stuff. It's very nice of you. Hi, Marchantia. My name is Eric, a fan of the channel from the States. I've been following your channel for over a year now, and I really enjoyed the content. Here is a small token of gratitude. Keep up the good work. Look forward to many more great videos in the future. Thank you very much, Eric. These are awesome. Yeti, Thank these, you. these are apparently really good. Matt was saying that. I know. I'm so yeah. excited. I can't wait to use it. Thank you very much. I'm going to use this every day, Eric. Love you. Okay. Does it say March? what we have here freebies in store if you come by uh, while they last these are refroids and they are the refroids sorry polyp lab polyp booster so if you come in and make a purchase you can take home a free little sample of this stuff this is excellent excellent stuff and it comes before feeding the very popular refroids coral food our favorite in-house brand of coral food my birthday is coming up and we're going to be doing a lot of giveaways. This is going to be one of them, this little cool Pico tank. If somebody wants to win a Pico tank, actually we're going to be giving away a ton. We're going to have this really cool wheel. We're going to do a whole video on the day. It's going to be a lot of fun. There's going to be a gold torch being given away, maybe a dragon soul. Um, lots of fun stuff. That's to come. This rock is just crazy. Crazy. Crazy little nano reef. Okay guys, I wish I had more to talk to you about in today's vlog update, but I think the most important part is this right here is going to be jam-packed. Um, it's going to come late Thursday evening. That tank? Oh yeah. You are bad for my ADHD. If someone wants this tank... Oh, this too. Here, Red Sea Reefer. Assembled. 200. Come pick it up. You're going to get a crazy deal on it. Um, brand new. Never been used. Just somebody ordered the wrong size, but it's here waiting. And this too, this cool little custom made $60 it's like a bookcase. bookcase. Is that what they call it? Bookcase. Yeah. This is cool. Um, come pick it up. So we're going to wrap it up Thursday evening, super, super late. So if you want to see the new stuff, maybe come on the weekend. Friday, it takes the corals a little bit time to, that's not proper English. It will take the corals time to recover from shipping. That's what I wanted to say. 
It's gonna get this all nice and nice and clean and then come on down on the weekend or next week. They do take time. It's coming from Indo. It is two and a half days transit time, but it should be an amazing shipment and it's been forever. I can't tell you how excited I am to get this in. And it's a nice mix. It's going to be a lot of euphilia. So a lot of hammers, a lot of frog spawn, a lot of torches. There's some Fabia in there. There's some cool leather corals. I know we have some acro coming, lots of mushrooms. No zoas on this one. Mm, chalice, cinerias, leathers, acanthophilias, everything that Indo has to offer that is amazing and great from the oceans. Play corals, all that fun stuff. We're gonna wrap it up, come back and check out. I'll do a video uh, of the unboxing and then, and then you guys know what to expect. You've been here for a while. Thanks for watching today's vlog update on Fragbox TV. Have a nice day.